first cast out here. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys, we came out here on the local lake to teach you how to throw medium diving crankbaits. And check this out. That's a big one. We're gonna dig right into how I caught that fish. Let's see if we can catch more. So I recently finished up a tournament up north on the Great Lakes where I caught a lot of big smallmouth cranking a Deep X 200 medium diving crankbait. And it kind of inspired me uh, to launch here on my local lake. I just got done uh, launching the boat here. I pulled out the deep crank rod I was using um, in this tournament. And uh, you know, it's I want to show you guys exactly how I catch fish on a medium to deep diving crankbait, what to look for, how I make my cast, the retrieves and the equipment I use um, when I'm looking for bass with medium to deep diving crankbaits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the Deep X 200 I used uh, up north there. This one's pretty beat up, it's almost retired. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie on a couple different crankbaits here. Ones that match the conditions I'm faced with today. So let's go ahead, head out on the lake and let's see if we can catch some of those big giant deep to medium diving crankbait fish. Even before I idle out, to the lake, what I like to do first and foremost is, you know, grab the crankbait just out of the package and make sure it's running true, running straight. That's probably the, the, the most often overlooked uh, thing to crankbait fishing is making sure that crankbait runs dead straight. So what I like to do right here at the ramp, I just tied this on and got, got a pair of needle nose pliers. Very simple, just go ahead and pitch it out there and just wind it back in and make sure it doesn't favor you know, the left side or the right side. I, I gotta make sure this thing absolutely digs dead straight. Otherwise, you're not gonna get maximum depth out of that crankbait. Uh, you're not gonna get that desired depth uh, that this thing was designed to dive down into. So just looking at it right now, um, this is a brand new crankbait out of the package and it swims dead straight all the way back to the boat here. And what you wanna do is just really just with a seven to one or six to one gear ratio reel, just really speed it up and, and uh, crank it real fast. And that way it really puts that crankbait to the test and make sure it's swimming dead straight. So that one's swimming pretty straight there. I'm ready to go out in the lake and find some, uh, some crankbait structure. So as I'm idling out here, um, let's just talk about our basic electronics. Now you don't need the side imaging, down imaging, and 2D to go out and catch fish on a medium to deep diving crankbait. Just the ability to read a map here. So what I like to do is try to convince myself to get off the bank. As bass fishermen, we all like to stay on the bank and just wind down the bank. I encourage everyone to just get off the bank a little bit, you know, where this nice rocky area comes to a point out off the bank. Those are great spots to start when you're throwing a medium diving crankbait, 10 feet of water, 12 feet of water, 15 feet of water. Eventually you'll build up the confidence to get way offshore and throw a crankbait out there in 20 to 25 feet of water. So really just look at your map, the topography of the lake you're fishing, and really just look for long points that stick out towards the middle of the lake. And from there, we just look for high spots and drop-offs. And if you, you know, if you establish a few of those high spots and drop-offs, all you have to do is idle over them, just kind of get an idea with your 2D and your down imaging sonar. And it just gives you an idea of what's down there. Generally speaking, we're just looking for signs of life. Um, any type of bait fish, any type of smaller fish like bluegills, uh, white bass, crappie, whatever it might be, Typically, if you have signs of life offshore, the bass aren't too far behind. So that's what we're gonna look for. Little high spots off the bank, drop offs off the bank, and just long points that stick out into the middle of the lake. There's a big ball of bait right here, and we're at the end of a point. So this looks good for a crank, you know, some activity underneath it. Look at the map, pay attention to the map. So it goes out, and then here's the drop off where those lines are real tight. We're right on top of it, and this is what's underneath us. That's down imaging, that's 2D sonar. Bunch of bait through here. You can see some fish kind of streaking through. But 
it just tells you that when you get lined up on those tight topography lines right there, I mean, that is absolutely primo. You mix it in with 360 imaging like this here, and you can really pinpoint those tight line casts, especially when there's bait on there. As far as the retrieve goes, um, there's one. First cast, that's a big one. Stay on there. Gosh, oh, it broke off. That's a giant, it broke off. That's a giant, dude, freaking broke it. No, no. Still on there, still on there. It's a giant. It's old line. It's the line from that tournament. It's still on there. It's old line. It's still on there. First cast coming out here, guys, for this video. I catch. Uh, oh, it's jumping on the other side. Oh, the line's old. I'm hand lining it. Oh my gosh. Oh, stay on there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh yeah! Woo! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, dude! It's almost a 10 pounder hand lined in. Coming out here shooting a crankbait video. My line breaks. It's old line from the tournament I just fished. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Hand line in. I'm coming off a smallmouth tournament. I'm, I'm throwing real light line, 10 pound test. It breaks first cast out here. And that's like a nine pounder hand line in. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's what you catch on medium diving crankbaits out off the bank, 10 to 12 feet of water, winding, grinding, and catching giants. I don't think my clip's gonna hold you. 919, woo! That's a big one, 919, 923, 9, 919, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a giant, I love Texas. Yeah, that's two nine plus pounders from the Zaldanes in one week. Trey caught a 998 about five days ago, and that's a 9.19 today. Awesome. That was freaking awesome is what that was and pretty lucky <laughs> now I got to re-spool everything uh, <laughs> I use all the best line I mean Seaguar and Vizex but when it's old a couple weeks old and it's been in the Texas heat here something's gonna give yes yeah, I re-spooled this the night before that St. Clair tournament man we made a lot of cast that tournament that was a fun tournament we caught a lot of good ones cranking but this line has had it. Actually, you know what? While I'm spooling up here, Johnny, why don't you show them what we caught on the crankbait all through practice and through the tournament at Lake St. Clair. There's another one. God, there's a school there. Oh gosh, what is it? Big bass. Big sandy colored one. Oh, come here. Yeah. LBO, Deep X2 Hundo. Ah, man, they crush it, hammered it. That's what we're after, man. That size are better. There's one. Please stay on there. I need you fierce, something fierce. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a big one. Yeah. Whew, barely got it. All right, that's number five. There's another one. Good one. Those are two ah, come here. He's bigger than that other one. 
try to get in position to make it look cool. <laughs> Fresh 12 pound in VizX. We're back in business. Went from smallmouth fishing, numbers, in practice, in a tournament, to absolute giants here in Texas. Same rod, same reel, and a crankbait. You know, throwing any crankbait with a bill on it is really simple. I mean, it's all a matter of going out, getting off the bank, and finding the depth zone that that crankbait was designed to fish. Um, whether it be 10 to 12 feet of water, like up on the Great Lakes, Lake St. Clair, or this 14 to 17 feet of water down here in Texas, it's all about just studying your map, finding areas you know that are flatter and come off the bank and dip into the main channel and really just fan casting a crankbait and diving that build down into that structure and you'll be surprised what bites it sometimes so year round medium diving to deep diving crankbaits literally just go out find some offshore cover cast around and see what you can come up with <laughs>